Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I wanted to do one last video on part of that Canadian Pacific. This is the motor that was in that Canadian Pacific that was so terribly rusted. Anyway, as you see, it looks to be in fairly decent condition. But if you look at the armature, if I can focus that closely, if you look at the armature, see that? That shaft has been rusted so badly that it's actually reduced its diameter. And it is just absolutely slopping around on that brush plate. So the bearing surface is actually gone. So it's just kind of hanging there. Anyway, this motor sounds like a lawnmower. So uh, since it has a uh, uh, Canadian Pacific uh, front crossbar, it'll fit a 999 shell. So I just stuck it in this 99 shell so I could run it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cannibalize this for parts. I bought it for these wheels, actually. And uh, I'm not going to put a lot of effort into this motor. Anyway, it does run, but like I said, it sounds like a lawnmower. Oh, let me turn the power on. All right. So to put this in any semblance of good running order, you have to replace the... Uh, armature itself and the brush plate so i'm just going to uh, go ahead and cannibalize it for parts anyway as you see it does run the e-unit was completely dead and this thing was just so terribly rusted that it's virtually uh, beyond repair unless you actually want to start replacing major components like the armature the uh, brush plate Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this so you can see how badly this is uh, worn. It's just absolutely wobbling around in there. Anyway, surprisingly enough, the side plates are actually fairly rust-free. And this is not aluminum, this is steel. But these uh, early motors, for some reason, these silver side plates really seem to resist rusting. As you can see, there's rust on every other part, but not on the side plates. Covered in uh, grime and filth, but no real rust at all. You can see even the push rod has got rust on it, and yet there's nothing on the side plates themselves. Anyway, this thing was just absolutely eaten alive with rust. And it does run, but uh, again, the only way to put it in good running order is to replace some major components. So I bought it for these wheels. These wheel wheels are actually in good condition. So I'm going to pull the wheels off, scavenge what I can. The rest of it will just go in the junk box. Good parts will go in the parts box, of course. Anyway, it does run, but I just want to do a, a quick follow-up on that uh, bearing surface on that shaft. Just goes to show how badly it was rusted. I had to break this engine loose with a torch. There was no way that... Uh, armature was going to turn it was absolutely frozen on its bearing on the other side so i just uh, used a pinpoint flame and heated the uh, output shaft right there and uh, just slowly began to turn it and after it went around once or twice it broke free and uh, i oiled it nothing else so anyway i just want to do a quick video on this this uh, poor old locomotive was just in absolutely abysmal terrible condition and I've got the uh, shell itself there, of course. So it actually looks quite good. So I will snag the wheels off of this, get what I can out of it. And the rest of it will go in the junk box. So just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always... Thank you for watching.